The weather could be worse, so uh, here we go. Fans driving up to East Lansing are tied up in long traffic lines. It seems they can't find the stadium because Michigan stole all the signs. <laughs> For those of you who know, uh, Michigan is under investigation now. The NCAA says it's looking into an elaborate scouting uh, scam that's going on where they were going and uh, visiting, uh, seeing other visiting teams before they played them uh, and stealing the signs and somehow figuring out what plays they were going to call. So anyway, that's all going on. It's contributing to the drama. Of course, Michigan State has had its own drama with Mel Tucker resigning as a head coach earlier this season. So it's going to be nuts up there in East Lansing when Big Brother and Little Brother get together. And yes, I will let you decide which of those is which. But uh, it's always a battle. And it will be today at up at East Lansing. So first alert, uh, Skyview cameras looking from South Bend. We see the beautiful city of South Bend there gleaming on the horizon. The Burt Golf Course in the foreground with those lovely trees beginning to turn. Not quite at the peak just yet. Give it another week. I think we'll be there. We had a lovely sunrise a few minutes ago in uh, Michigan City from the Blue Chip Casino where it's 43 degrees with calm winds this morning. Up in St. Joe, the clouds have rolled back in just a short time ago. We had brilliant sunshine on the, uh, the buildings in the foreground and, of course, the lighthouse at the end of the pier. Uh, the temperature up there, 41 degrees. Winds are calm right now, but they won't be for long. They will be building. As we uh, look at our current radar, we're now starting to see some active areas of rain that are moving into the Michiana area. Not quite there yet, just offshore of St. Joe, and you noticed it from that uh, Skyview picture. You could see those darkening clouds, and so that will be coming in probably within the next 20, 30 minutes up there in St. Joe. Meantime, on the wide view, we'll show you what's happening. We've got system number one, low pressure moving out to the east coast. That's what brought us rain for a couple of days. Now we've got low pressure system number two working its way down out of Canada, what we call an Alberta clipper coming southeastward out of uh, Alberta, Canada. And so you can see this uh, rain that's associated with it, some of it a little bit heavier up around the Muskegon area and down into Grand Rapids perhaps, but this little finger right there is the one that's going to be coming through Michiana here this afternoon. So our current temperatures now have gotten into the 40s in the western half and closer to the lake, but farther east where you're out in the clearer skies and farther away from that warm lake water, you can see how cold the temperatures are, 36, 37 degrees in some spots this morning. Future wind gusts, we'll show you our winds that we mentioned are calm in many places this morning only single digits, but by later on tonight, we'll be getting up around 26, 30, maybe even 33 mile an hour winds as we head through the late night hours of 11 to about midnight tonight. Uh, and so it'll be a little bit gusty. We're also anticipating our first uh, possible freeze, certainly a frost, and that will be tomorrow night, Monday morning. We'll see our temperatures bottom out around South Bend, probably around 34 degrees. Closer to the lake, it'll be around 39 degrees. And in some places over toward Fort Wayne, maybe, uh, and uh, perhaps Warsaw, that, that uh, sort of thing, might see temperatures drop even slightly below freezing, maybe 30, 29 degrees on uh, early Monday morning. So you want to cover up those uh, the vegetation if you uh, want to protect your plants for a couple more days. Future track rain amounts here. We'll put this in motion. You see there's nothing this morning, but by this afternoon and this evening, we'll start to see about a tenth to maybe uh, two tenths of an inch of rain, mostly in the northeastern portion of our viewing area and up into Michigan. Uh, speaking of Michigan, the big game's going on today. Uh, number two, Michigan versus Michigan State. That game is at East Lansing, so it'll be the Spartans versus the Wolverines. It'll be about 46 degrees, and uh, probably we'll be seeing some rain and some pretty good wind up there at the time. Number seven, Penn State goes to the horseshoe to play Ohio State. It'll be 48 degrees there and uh, maybe spits of rain as you get into the late fourth quarter. Then you got Rutgers in Indiana where, boy, the place to be is Bloomington. It's going to be sunny, 58, rising to about 70 degrees by the end of that game, which starts at noon. Satellite radar combination. One more time, we'll drop the fronts in here for you and we'll show you that uh, front that's out there to the west of us. That low pressure will be coming through. And so as we take a look at the 10 day forecast, then uh, our forecast for today, well, kind of what we've been seeing. Cloudy, rainy, windy, not a great day. A uh, high temperature of about 58. And then for tomorrow, slightly better. Even though it's cooler, we'll see some sunshine tomorrow. Start to dry out. But uh, look at what we get by Tuesday. Tuesday, sunny skies, high near 70 degrees. Wow, that's uh, quite a change. And of course, remember that we're talking